Hello and welcome to Wembley Stadium. The AFC Wimbledon Wembley Womblies are here to try to win the John Stones Paint Trophy. Here we are at Wembley, rainy Wembley. It's in a stunning turn of events, raining in England, etc. Oh, but we have a great chance, our only chance this season, to take home some silverware. It's the John Stones Paint Trophy, uh, a trophy that, that all the teams in, in the lower leagues uh, compete for. And I'm very excited to try to win it, um, even though I am kind of starting my uh, backup team today. Um, today, in addition to celebrating, any occasion when we're at Wembley Stadium is special. I mean, for AFC Wimbledon, a club that got its start just over a decade ago by having open tryouts on Wimbledon Common to be in a packed stadium of 90,000 people, I mean, who could have imagined that? It's very special. We're all very grateful to be here. Um, so this may not be, you know, I guess maybe uh, Manchester City wouldn't be that psyched about winning this trophy, but we want to win it really, really badly. So we're going to try to take it to Sheffield United today and show them some Wimbly Wombly spirit um, and see if we can, if we can win this game. We've got our attacking substitutions prepared for the second half, um, but the, the guys are just exhausted, so um, we'll see how it goes here. Um, Hey, so uh, I'm filming this in the distant past, but according to Meredith, for you, in your world, it is June 4th, which means that the movie of my book, The Fault in Our Stars, comes out in like two days if you are an American, and in like two months if you are Malaysian. Um, but no, it comes out in two days in many, many countries around the world, including the United States and Australia. I think it might already be out in Australia if it's June 4th. I don't even know. Uh, I, I hope you like the movie. I mean, it's weird right now. Um, it's like April, it's May 1st right now, I think. Um, and it's, it's so weird right now because I've seen the movie, but you guys, oh, that it should have been a goal, you bomba, get there. Oh, you bomba. It's faster than that. that. That could have been our opening beautiful goal. It's just pouring here at Wembley. Fortunately, they've got a nice pitch because it's like the fanciest stadium in England. Um... But yeah, it's so weird to think that, that you guys are uh, many. Oh! These boots were made for strutting. And that's just what they'll do. And one of these days, these boots are going to score a goal on you. See strutting. Strutting on the Ritz. Getting a goal. One nil up. That much closer to hoisting some silverware aloft on this very special day. That's exciting. Thank you. Great goal from Mr. Strutton. Um, yeah, I just, I really hope you guys like the movie. I feel nervous in a way I haven't since the book came out. I mean, obviously, the it's not my movie. I didn't, I didn't make it, and, um, and I, I don't want to claim credit for it, but um, I am really proud of it. I'm really proud of, of the work that, that everybody did on it, and um, I'm really proud of of the result, and I, I hope you guys uh, like it as much as I do. I mean, I don't know a less objective observer than myself uh, watching the movie, but I, um, I really liked it, and I felt like it, um, it was obvious that they cared a lot about the book and um, cared a lot about the story and really worked, worked hard to honor it. That goes for the cast, um, the amazing cast who've become great friends to me um, from Laura Dern and Willem Dafoe and Sam Trammell to Ansel and Nat and Shailene. Um, they're all such lovely people and um, really, you know, they did not do this movie for money because they didn't make much. Um, they did it because they cared about the story and because it, it, it mattered to them. Um, mattered to each of them for a different reason, but it really mattered to all of them. Okay, um, guess what just happened? Guess what just happened? We scored! We scored a goal. We scored a goal. These boots were made for strutting. That's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are going to score a goal on you. Great assist, too, from Kaz. So I've been hard on Kaz this season because he's only three feet, eight inches tall and because he's nine years old. Um, but he signed a professional contract in which he gets paid $4,000 a week. Uh, so I've been a little rough on him, and that hasn't been fair, and I, I apologize, Kaz. That was a really good assist. That was top, top shelf, and suddenly we're 2-0 up in the first half with a great chance now to put our hands on that trophy. And, uh, ha uh, you know, obviously it's not a successful season. What, did I commit a foul, or was that offside? That was not a foul. Oh, prototypical ankle hug. 
that's just two men coming together, wishing to express an interest and affection in each other, and then the referee misinterprets it. Typical. Oh! Seb Brown. Oh, and then a vintage Seb Brown throw. Right where you wanted it. Right where you wanted it. I'm so good at professional, at uh, world-class skill level. Um, why don't they just pass? Obviously, I don't want to pass it out of bounds. It, where, has there ever been a situation when a goalkeeper, oh, well, that was not a good pass, where a goalkeeper wanted to do that? I don't think there has been. Um, but, yeah, I hope, you, I hope you like the movie. If you've seen it uh, or, or you're going to see it, let me know when you're going to see it in, in comments, and um, I'll be viewing them, I guess, uh, in the future when I'm on the road for, for, the, for the movie. Um, I'm actually leaving tomorrow, uh, May 2nd, and I'm not coming home really except for a couple days until the movie um, basically comes out. So that's going to be crazy. Um, that's why I've played all these Wimbly Wombly games in advance so that, so that we can still have Wimbly Womblies. Also because it's a great way of me addressing my nervousness and I'm pretty nervous these days. Um, but I, I, yeah, I'm just, I, I'm so excited for people to actually see the movie and also like scared. I'm scared because I want it to do well for all the people who made it and, um, you know, showed this huge commitment to, um, to a story that was not, you know, like the easiest the easiest movie to like make or market in the world um usually yeah yeah so i'm just really excited and, and nervous um i do genuinely i mean i i hope you guys agree but i think it's a very faithful adaptation like i, I mean most of the lines of dialogue in the movie are directly from the book um most of the you know i think the 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 Actors, you know, were huge fans of the book, and it was really important to them that um, that the movie be faithful to the book. And in fact, in a couple of cases, um, Shailene or Ansel would be like, mm, "I think we should say like 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 we say it in the book." Um, so I think you know they're just um, yeah, they're excited for it. I'm excited for it. I'm incredibly nervous, but I am really excited. Um, yeah, what else should I say about the movie, Meredith? Is there anything else that you think people want to know about? Oh, God, I've been asked that question so many times. So you do these press junkets. I'm about to go do, like, the meat of them, but I've already done one. You do these press junkets, and what happens? It's so strange. It's so surreal and not like real life. The whole This whole thing is not like real life, and it's kind of, to be honest with you, like, it's not something that I'm particularly good at or, like, particularly enjoy. I think that we all think, like, oh, this would be so I, – I mean, I thought, oh, this would be so cool, and it is really cool in a lot of ways, and I'm very grateful for the – friendships that have emerged from it but like the press stuff and the like getting my picture taken stuff I'm just I really freaks me out um but yeah so you do these press junkets where they ask you questions um and you spend like five or ten minutes with each media outlet they're very brief interviews and they all ask the same questions so you answer the same questions over and over and over again this is much worse for the actors than it is for me because with me at least like the questions are like fairly interesting questions <laughs> but with Shailene and Ansel I have been there a hundred and fifty times when they were asked what's it like to go from playing brother and sister to playing uh, boyfriend girlfriend because you were brother and sister in Divergent and now you're boyfriend girlfriend that must have been weird and they're like, they're very good about it. And like, they do not answer that question by flipping out the way that I answer the question by flipping out. My answer to the question is, well, here's an interesting fact. They aren't actually brother and sister. If they were actually brother and sister, then yes, it probably would be weird. But they're not actually brother and sister. Like, um, and what actors do is they imagine being someone they're not. And then they pretend to be that person. So... First, they imagined being brother and sister. Then they imagined being in love. It turns out that's possible. You can imagine being more than one person. That's the cool thing about human consciousness. So that's my answer. <laughs> Shailene and Ansel's answer is much, much more, much nicer. They are epically patient and nice and good people. Um, I am like a cranky old man. Uh, is there anything else you think they're going to, that people want to know? Oh, oh, Kaz has been waiting for that goal for so long. That would have meant so much to him, but he didn't get it because life is hard and full of disappointments. 
Also, I still don't, I st there's so much I still don't know. So like, I would love to be able to announce things that might happen um, or like by, by June 4th will have happened or not happened, but I can't because I don't know if they're gonna happen yet because everything in Hollywood happens at the last possible second. It's crazy. I mean, it's just nuts. It's just, it's just so, the whole, this whole thing is so weird. Um, Meredith, can you think of anything else? I, I, I do think the movie is good. I genuinely like it. I hope people like it. Other people, like whenever like press have watched it, they've liked it, but then I get very nervous. I'm like, well, but you guys, you guys are used to watching really bad movies, you know, like Die Hard 5, which is almost as bad as Die Hard 4 is good. How can a, how can a franchise contain both, you know, one of the best movies ever made and one of the worst? Also true for Star Wars, I guess. Um, all right, anything else, Meredith? Am I missing anything? Is there anything I failed to talk about about the Fault in Our Stars movie experience? Do please go see the movie opening weekend. It doesn't really count if you don't see it opening weekend. That's what I was told. Um, oh, what am I going to wear to the premiere? I've heard that I'm going to like, be dressed in the same way I was for the MTV Movie Awards. So like, someone will, will give me an outfit that I will then have to give back. Um, which is kind of a bummer because I'd like to keep my, my premiere outfit, you know, so that I could wear it again because I'm sure it will be nice. Um, I do, I have, I have one suit that, that is, that is, that's fairly nice that I, I can wear in a pinch in case they don't dress me. But if they dress me, yes, I will wear whatever they want me to. Um, so that'll be kind of fun. It's fun. I like getting, I don't want to sound weird, but I like, I do, I find that I genuinely enjoy getting dressed up. It's one of the few things that I actually like about the whole, uh, uh, fancy pants movie movie process. Um, so yeah. Um, by the way, Meredith, we are two minutes away from winning the John Stones paint trophy. Um, so I'd like to congratulate Green Eggs and Sheringham. These boots were made for Strutton, Kaz, all the guys on the field today. They don't get the same level of love that um, that Ball John Green, other John Green get, or Yabamba, you know, Seb Brown, the real. The real heroes of our club, even even Callum Kennedy, like, you know, these these guys. A lot of times, they don't get that level of attention, and it's that can be sad for them. He was not offside. That should have been a great last goal. Oh, we did it! We are the champions, my friends. We did it. Sit in shame, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had to lose, but there can only be one winner, and today it's AFC Wimbledon. AFC Wimbledon. AFC Wimbledon. The blue and yellow confetti falls along with the rain from the sky above Wembley Stadium. Oh, it's a beautiful day. In South London, my friends, I'm sure that everyone back home I who isn't in the stadium, I mean, it looks like we brought everybody with us, but anybody back home is, is celebrating. Look at that, the beautiful fireworks. Now we salute you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for standing with a club owned by you, its supporters. We love you. This is our moment this year. We probably aren't going to win League One. We, we definitely aren't going to win anything else. But there, we get our indoor fireworks because we won the John Stones paint trophy. Oh, it's a beauty. Ball John Green, he didn't play in the game, but he made sure to get down there. He likes, he likes that pose, Meredith. You ever notice that? He likes to be like, yeah, he likes that. It's a good pose for him. We did it. We won. And Charlie Strutton, these boots were made for Strutton with our highest player rating, 8.4. Congratulations to him, to all the Wimbly Womblies on a fantastic performance. A great run in the John Stones paint trophy. I hope you like the Tiffios movie. Let me know. I'm sure you'll let me know. And yeah, I hope it's good. Uh, Please see it opening weekend. Bye. Best wishes.